Here in South Africa, when it rains, it just pours. But it doesn't rain often enough. That's why the Upper Limpopo River flows only for around 40 days in dry years. The river slowly winds its way through deserts, breathing life into dry, parched lands. But not everyone is sustained by its flow. One-sixth of the Limpopo Basin is covered by wetlands. They are the real source of life for millions who live here. Wetlands provide a defense against the impact of drought. Driven by climatic extremes, more and more farmers are turning to wetlands to grow their food. But is the growing of crops slowly destroying their very source of life? And can the wetlands withstand the onslaught of urbanization and tourism development? Researchers supported by the CGIAR Challenge Program on Water and Food are looking for answers to these questions. The major objective of this program is to come up with a series of tools, guidelines and framework which can lead to development of a model whereby the stakeholders can select how to create balance in utilizing the wetland resources in such a way that can improve their standard of living in harmony with the uh, environmental parameter and characteristics. Known here as dambos, pans or riverines, many wetlands in this region are seasonally or permanently waterlogged. They provide various benefits, including flood control, Important as these wetlands are, very little is known and understood on how human activity impacts them. Here at Mafefe village, 400 kilometers northwest of the capital Pretoria, scientists are collecting information to produce a detailed map of the Limpopo wetlands. They are also regularly monitoring rainfall, groundwater levels and water flows into and out of the wetland. This information is then shared with the farmers. The backbone of this type of research depends fully on the involvement and engagement of the farmers. So we should realize, firstly, what is the ways and means they are running their life, earning their livelihood? What are their challenges? And come up with a solution as to how they can utilize these resources to improve their livelihood and at the same time sustain their environment. The project is studying the mix of crop growing, livestock and fisheries in these wetlands. Understanding these competing processes will enable researchers to suggest better ways of managing water resources in the future. That in turn will help reduce poverty and improve food security for everyone living here. I see that the wetland can produce food for us. That's why we need something which can help us to sustain the wetland the wetland should go on and on. Even our new generation will get this wetland still alive. Mm -hmm.